Hello friends, these are classes for Figo staging and classification made simpler and now we are on the easiest classification which I kept for the last and that is CA endometrium. So why is it so easy is because again uh, if you apply logic things will become far more easier to you. So basically again like uh, cervical carcinoma this is also spread through lymphatic and hematogenous route. So basically there is contiguous spread first obviously because lymphatic channels, hematogenous channels they are all you know uh, draining the same area. So automatically this spread will also become this spread. You understand? So suppose it's a uterine artery which is also supplying the uterus is also supplying is giving branches to the to the cervix that is descending uh, cervical artery and then it also uh, goes to the uh, you know, vaginal uh, twig is also given to it. So automatically, this, the cancer which is over here will also spread here, here, and here. This, that's where it taken. But it takes time to go to you know different places because there is, uh, you know, contiguous spread to the adjacent organs first, and then to the um, surrounding organs later on. This is the actual logic behind all carcinoma and the spread of the carcinoma, based on which staging becomes easier if you know the spread. Now let's say what is stage one. So stage 1 in CA endometrium happens to be a carcinoma which is localized only to the corpus. So anything which is associated or limited only to the corpus, maximum it is involving cervical glands becomes stage 1. Stage 2 becomes a spread beyond the corpus but limited to the cervix. Stage 2. Stage 3 becomes a spread to the vagina, to the areas close by to the adenexa and service and the and the and the tumor on the serosa the serosa of the uterus that is stage 3 and then stage 4 of course stage 4 like i said before in ca cervix you do not have to remember stage 4 automatically it will come to you stage 4a is the spread to the bladder and rectum stage 4 becomes a distillment so i'm not going to take the stage 4 now so stage 1 is divided into stage 1a and stage 1b why? Because less than half and more than half because what happens is that this spread of CA endometrium, actually it is of the endometrium, it is going to the myometrium, that means it's a spread. So less than 50% myometrium is involved stage 1A, more than 50% myometrium is involved stage 1B. And a cervical stroma, sorry, cervical glandular uh, um, involvement is there, again stage 1B. Now stage 2 means cervical stromal involvement because the spread from cervix is definitely there. So stage 2 becomes spread to the cervix. Right? Now comes stage 3. Stage 3, now if you know stage 1 and stage 2, automatically you will understand what will stage uh, 3 will be. So stage 3a will be a spread to the outer surface of the uterus. That is uh, the involvement of the uh, serosa of the uh, of the uterus and or the adenexia are involved. That means obviously when it goes to the cervical, you know, the, the uterine serosa, that means somewhere over here, the adenexia can also get involved. So automatically the, the spread to the adenexia or the serosal surface is called as stage 3a, which is obviously coming from the myometrium to this place. So the myometrium has gone to this place. But at the same time, cervix was also involved, cervical glandular uh, stuff was also there in stage 1b. So where will that go? It will go to the parametrium and the vagina. So stage 3b automatically becomes the spread to the vagina or the parametrium. That is stage 3b. And now what is stage 3c? The involvement of lymph nodes. So stage 3c1 will become pelvic lymph nodes and stage 3c2 will become paraortic lymph nodes. And stage 4b you already know. Stage 4a, 4a and 4b you already know. So as simple as that, the endometrial carcinoma happens to be the simplest of all and becomes even more simpler if you've done, you know, CA cervix before because that will give you an idea of how the, you know, contiguous spread or spread through lymphatic channels or hematogenous spread which are feeding the same place, you know, the same, uh, you know, organ does take place. So obviously if Endometrium is involved, myometrium will involve. If myometrium is involved, serosal involvement will be there. If serosal involvement is there, adenexa will also be encompassed. In a similar way, if cervical involvement is there, it will go to vagina, it will go to parametrium. That's the only way to learn it. So if you remember stage 3, every other stage can be designed according to it, uh, delineating the stage 3 or stage 3 for that matter. So this ends with the FIGO staging of all the major cancers. 
maybe uh, when I'll be taking up classes on valvular carcinoma, that time I'll specifically and separately describe uh, valvular carcinoma. Not very much asked, but you never know how the examiner and examination can take place. So uh, just stay tuned to my classes. Whenever it is coming up, I'll announce it.